Hey guys, Bondo here. We're building an Endura foundation here. You can see in the background. It's a shallow frost protected foundation here in New York State. So I'm gonna show you one thing that, uh, there's not a lot of videos out there on how to build this T corner, New Dura T corner. There's a bunch of T corners in this building. You see one in the background there that we haven't finished, but I'm gonna do one for you. And then you can uh, use that to help yourself build your New Dura projects. Stay tuned. So here we are guys, we got what's called a T corner that we're gonna build. You can buy these T quarters preformed, but we usually just build them right in place. And I could show you one done, or I'm just gonna do this one. So basically you can see, we're just crossing over a regular Nadura block here with another Nadura block for this front porch. It's gonna be a T corner here, regular corner, and then regular corner back to T corner. So first thing I'm gonna do is take this block out here. I'm gonna cut right in here. I don't really wanna take this web out. You could take the web out and come back here and cut that, but it creates a weak point right here. So I'm gonna leave that in there. There's gonna still be about four and a half inches of concrete that's gonna flow through here into here and we're gonna get rebar in there. So what you need to do is there's these knives that are gonna stab through here. We're gonna put four knives on it. And these knives got a hook on the end. They're gonna go through here and hook onto this here, this rebar here. So that's how we're gonna do it. And then I'm going to put a short piece of rebar down in the bottom of here. And I want to use these back holes here. You don't want to use these holes because your knife will actually be pulling the rebar out of the hole. So I'm going to use these back, either this hole or this hole. I like to use this hole because this hole, your knife's kind of poking into the foam. So this is the hole I want to use. And I want one here and I want one down at the bottom. And then they're going to strap right along the side of the Nadura block here on both sides and that's going to hold this T-corner together. So I'm going to hand the camera off to Roy and he's going to video me cutting this out and doing this Nadura corner, T-corner. All right guys, I'm going to take this block out of here. I marked two marks where it's going. I'm going to get my hand saw here. I'm just going to cut that foam out where I marked it. There's a web right here, you can see, so I want to stay away from that. And stay just to the side of it. I want to get all that foam out of the wall. You can use a leaf blower too. Got a short piece of rebar here, guys. Like I said, I'm gonna put it in there. It's gonna go in this back hole here so that it's not pulling out of these holes. These holes it would just pull out of. So I gotta get that rebar down in there, which is a little bit of a challenge sometimes. Push it in there. So now I'm in there, I'm at the bottom. I'm gonna try to get it. And of course, that's going to be in the way, isn't it? I think we can get it in there. Got a gold thing. That hole there. Actually, that's not going to work, is it? That rebar's in the way. We got to bend that rebar. I was thinking rebar's in the way. Can we bend that rebar? Yeah. Look at a hammer and hit it. Not in a great spot, but come this way a little more. Or Actually, your way no, a little I gotta more. come my way a little more. You can use a longer piece of rebar, but so that's my bottom rebar. Let me see one of those T straps, Jay. So this T strap is gonna go through the bottom here, and I'm gonna hook it on there, and that is 
the way it goes. Don't rush in with the cannula, like so keep it nice and easy. So that's gonna hook onto there like that. So this has got a point on it and you can stuff it right through the wall. And then that's our bottom and this is gonna be our top. It's gonna get hooked. So now that we've cut that on there, we're gonna put the block back in. Same thing, got your point. I'm gonna stuff it right through the bottom here. Right through. Get those pieces of foam out of there. And that point is going to hook around that ready bar like that. You can see it's pulling it right in. I'm gonna put Couple of screws again on this side. concrete going through this this thing's rock solid we're gonna put rebar right in there that'll go inside of this you could put a j-bend around it if you want but you could stick it through and bend it down whatever you like but that's how we do the nadura t corner thanks for watching all right guys i'm gonna show you something we put our straps through like we did on the other corner and we got to here and there's a web right here right directly here so we couldn't stab our knives through because of that web right there so we put one on the inside here hooked it angled a screw in here and a screw in here couldn't really get down to the bottom but this is only two courses high so what you could do biscuit had a good idea you could put some blocking here like a two by four here two by four here and run it outside that web 
and hook it and screw into your two by fours. You can cut these straps off after the concrete dries anyways with a zip wheel. We always do that. So it's not in the way of our parge, but just yeah, like just put a space like that. And then run your knife on the outside. Yeah, run your knife on the outside. So it misses that there, it would come through. So I think we're gonna do that. I think we'll take this out of here. I like that idea better, but it's just two options for you. You can do this. We've done this in the past and we didn't have any issues. You can actually get one down at the bottom if you got a right angle drill to get those two screws in down low. So I think we're gonna do it this way. I like that better. Okay, show them your masterpiece, Biscuit. Oh, you're still screwing her together. Oh, you angled that screw a little too hard there, bud. Tight now. Yeah, but you don't want to warp it. You can warp it. Give it a little slack. This is a big biscuit idea. Don't go cold. Yeah. But... Couple of two by fours. Kick the knife out away from the web right there. One in the bottom, one in the top. I like that better than our inside trick that we've been doing. I trust that a lot more. That's good. What do you got to say to your fans? Can't help that I'm the best. <laughs> <laughs> love it. I love it. All right, guys, I'll show you one more thing. This T corner. I want something to tie this into here, rebar wise. So um, this bar here that comes in could have a bend on it. Just bend it down at about 14 inches. But we didn't do it that way. We just had this other rebar. We've cut it like three foot long. So it's gonna go two foot into this section. And this bend is just gonna, I'm just gonna put it down because you could put it to the side, but you get into your knives or in the way and all that. So I'm just gonna drop it in there like this. And that's gonna give this corner, when that gets cast in, that bend, that's gonna tie these two walls together. But I think if I was to do it again, I didn't, Biscuit put these rebars in. I didn't like how they just came in and dead ended. They should have had a bend on them. So we just bent these up, but you could put your long ones in. Would it be even better with the bend down? So that's not going anywhere. Like I said, if you bent it to the side this way, you could, but you get into your upper knives and stuff. You'd have to go over top of them.